Hi guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome and if you're returning, thank you. I appreciate you guys' continued support. We are on Aquarius. Last two signs to get this round of readings done. I think I want to thank everybody who has subscribed or liked or commented on your videos. I appreciate it and it's always welcome. So Aquarius, we're going to pull three cards for you. And we're going to pull a couple cards to clarify those. And I'm going to pull a couple oracles for you guys. What's on the bottom? Action. Eight of Wands energy. So some fast moving energy, maybe moving through something pretty fast. This also um, I look at as communication um, or some kind of messages or this could be traveling or moving fastly from like one energy to another energy, one place to another place. Um, maybe a quick spontaneous venture or, you know, maybe a little um, mini vacation that you hadn't planned on. Something happening here with some movement, some movement with either communication or actual physical movement. The guy's got a suitcase, he's packing, um, getting ready to go somewhere. This could involve some messages or something about maybe a move and we got decision. So trying to decide between um, your options here. Um, needing to make a decision here. It looks like this um, could involve connecting to something you want to learn more about. This could be even movement towards school or um, maybe moving somewhere or going somewhere. Some kind of messages received about going somewhere or relocating somewhere to pursue some further either education or maybe it's for a job. It's so you can enhance um, your, your earthly stability in some way, like a beginning, like a new opportunity. Um, and it looks like it, like, uh, there's some planning or some processing of the information and deciding like, uh, what, maybe whether you're going to do this, or maybe you've already made the decision to do this, but it does look like it's moving towards something that you feel could be more stable for you. Something that's more, um, but it's just in the beginning phases, you know, um, then we got the six of earth and it was reversed so there is this feeling of not quite um something not feeling quite balanced or maybe fair um maybe you're there's a maybe that's part of this decision is you're afraid uh of something not being balanced or fair if you were to take this opportunity or respond to this um feels like a, a, an opportunity is what it feels like. So let's go ahead and get maybe like uh, you feel like maybe it could be like a feeling of like not, not, um, I'm feeling like there's like a contemplation about it because there's just something that feels um, unbalanced about it. Let's get more on this decision hmm. so there could be also like a thought like you don't have everything it's going to take to do this or make this move or um yeah okay ace of water reversed Okay, <clears throat> so you're it, from if this is your reading and it's resonating, it's like you're leaning more away from taking an opportunity or moving towards something because you feel like it's going to cause more imbalance, maybe in a relationship that you have, maybe in a situation you're dealing with, with <clears throat> that you're already dealing with, maybe with some, um, like you, um, like it could cause some problems within some relationships or some, uh, 
It could be family, it could be friends, acquaintances, um, maybe people you currently are working with. Um, but there is a feeling here of maybe that's what this decision, it's hard to, um, hard to make. And there's also this feeling of it not, I'm feeling like taking this opportunity or this, or maybe even responding to a message, because that's what Eight of Wands is, is also to me is responding to a message, um, could, um, it's feeling like, um, it's almost feeling like you, it's, it's almost feeling like you, you don't like there's a, a strong feeling of not wanting to do this make this move go to this place this could be like I said a school an inst like some kind of uh, further opportunity in work or something because it's going it's feeling like it's causing some emotional instability maybe in some relationships maybe in um it's just not feeling balanced is what I'm getting let's get a little more on this and I feel like, you know, maybe if you took this, this opportunity or this move, you could be missing out on an opportunity for emotional um, happiness where you're at. Maybe right now, right here, we got grasp, holding on to what is familiar, release the grip of limitation. I was getting that you might just feel like you don't have enough resources or enough, maybe this could be talent, skill, resources to make this move or to, yeah, it's feeling like making a move towards something. Um, maybe, maybe you're not feeling um, emotionally good about this. Um, and it could be because you're hanging on to the familiar and it could be because you're afraid of stepping out of the box but I'm also getting the feeling that somewhere deep you may be feeling like this is somehow unfair or going to be unbalanced maybe with some relationships or some kind of situation you already have going on in your life um, release the grip of limitations but if you're putting limitations on yourself um, Spirit is saying don't limit yourself to what you are able to do. You could be just ex suffering from some major self-doubt um, or like self-criticism, um, kind of beating yourself up about like I can't do this or kind of a, having a lower bar, um, not setting your bar higher. Um, but if this is between like earth matters and emotional matters, whew, that could be why this is a really hard decision. Um, Let's get, um, let's get one of these for you guys. This is feeling like, it's almost feeling like you're afraid of moving forward either. And it could be a mix of everything. Like I don't have the resources and I'm going to miss out on, or how is this going to affect my relationships? You know, I'm getting that, that message too. How is this going to affect my close relationships? Assumptions. Okay, you could be, begin again. So you could be making some bold assumptions about how this is going to affect the people around you or what's to come when you haven't even seen the future yet. You could be already assuming <clears throat> the worst. Um, maybe from a place of fear of letting go of something, um, an old, it could be, it's feeling that it could be an old location or a job or something you've been doing to, to, to grab onto something new. Um, this very well could be just a partnership that you're moving towards. It could be a place. It could be a job. Like I said, school, something like that, studying something new, relocating. Um, but there's just this assumptions like, whether this is you making assumptions about how it's going to be or how it's going to affect you or others, they're just assumptions. And if, you know, what they say about assuming, you know, um, they say, you know, assuming makes an ass out of you and me. So I don't know, this could be somebody in your life assuming, um, you know, and maybe it has to do with an opportunity in a relationship or a friendship. This could be like some kind something feels like it could be affected by this response to this message or this movement that is kind of coming through fast. Like it feels like this opportunity or something kind of just 
comes out of nowhere and it's like, oh, and it's like you, leaves you in a kind of decision to, to make a choice. And it's feeling like you're like, uh, you could be assuming the worst. You could be really deeply trying to hold on to something that, um, I, that is urging you to move forward is showing you, Hey, move forward. Now it doesn't always mean these opportunities are fire can be impulsive. So you could be very, being very, very careful to not make any impulsive decisions right now on this, um, this subject, whatever this is for you. Let's go ahead and get these. You could be just wanting to hold on to what is familiar. Maybe, maybe there is a feeling here of not believing in something better ahead or the thought that something could, um, influence your relationships or your chances or opportunities at closer relationships by moving further away or something like that unseen yeah there's definitely something unseen unknown here um that you could be moving towards in the direction of and it feels kind of does feel kind of scary but it also seems to be saying you know don't assume it's a bad move or assume the worst um be positive about any moves you're making forward but also don't um hold on to what's comfort comfortable and familiar and underestimate your own power in this situation um there could just be it just feels like this could uh leave to lead to maybe less communication or less contact or less um, something for maybe somebody in your life, maybe something you don't want to leave behind is kind of what it's feeling like. Um, hmm. This feels pretty, this feels pretty, uh, feels pretty, pretty deep, pretty heavy. Um, but you know, illumination unseen illumination so something is is being shown to you something maybe you've actually thought about this manifesting is at the bottom maybe this is something you've actually thought about you've actually manifested and now that it's here or it's falling into your into your your vision and it's falling into your your experience you're like oh wait 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 um i i'm getting this feeling this hesitation um but yet in the middle here it's just it's not saying rush in anything. I think, I think that's a good, uh, some good advice not to rush into anything, to take page of earth takes their time and thinks about every step they're taking. Um, and it could have to do with definitely not wanting to, um, miss an opportunity here with some kind of relationship or some kind of emotional, um, and like just a new emotional experience. Um, so that is what I'm getting there. Let's see. Let's get three of these. These have been relatively short, you guys. So I don't know, Aquarius. This feels like, um, an opportunity here. Transformation. Could be going somewhere to integration. Okay. Um, and magic that is the second time i've actually seen the magic kind of come out um it kind of was there when i was shuffling um the other uh, tree cards so there is a feeling here of having worked really hard on something here to make some changes maybe something wasn't um something wasn't happening that you had been working on and I feel like it is getting ready to happen but I feel like it's kind of well, if it hasn't already and you could be holding on to like still like an old um role or an old form that that was you but now isn't and now there is this feeling of wanting to move forward into some unknown territory but it's almost like you want some kind of um clarification or something about is this going to affect my, it feels like relationships or it feels like, um, community or relationships or will I be able to, will I be able to, 
it's almost one like, will I be able to contribute to this the way that is that I want to, or will it will it contribute to me the way that I need or want to? It almost just feels like you just don't know, like if you make this big move or you make this big choice, um, if it's going to lead to. But this is saying integration, so it's trying. It feel I feel like something is trying to move you forward. Um, I feel like the universe is trying to move you forward into a new space, a new maybe career, maybe a new uh, community, maybe something like that. And it's so that you can integrate what you've already learned and what you've been working on in, internally to the external. And it, the magic card at the end always says, you know, it's, it's, I don't, magic is always good, but it can always, you know, it can go either way. Like it depends on um, how you use your tools. The magician is here under the decision. So it depends on how you communicate this, how you um, think about this, um, how passionate you are about this endeavor. Um, I'd say if it's something you're passionate about, if you're just letting some old fears or some assumptions um, keep you gripping onto like the, it feels like an old version of yourself or an old, maybe an old version of a job or a hobby or or something that was familiar, but now there's just something new calling you towards it. Um, that's what I am getting. So let's go ahead and get one of these. I would say, you know, if something you've done some work and you've had some huge transformations happening here in your life, um, it's time to integrate those into a community into, and you could be like, Oh, I don't know if I'll be accepted or I don't know if I'll fit in, or I don't know if this will cause problems in my current um, situation or even future. You could be just overthinking something here. Um, but I feel like it's all part of like blending yourself into uh, like the community or work or some kind of bigger endeavor that um, you're meant to be a part of. Um, it could just feel like it's moving really fast. Uh, telepathy, transmission, perception, communication. So there is an harvest gathering of blessings. So it is feeling like something is coming in here. That's good. That it feels good, but it may not be feeling good to you because you may be holding on to some things here that you are familiar with or comfortable with. And I do feel like um, you could be worried about some kind of um, communication maybe with a current maybe job or school or friends or family or relationship or something about this movement that you want to make uh, towards something here that it feels like you either got the go ahead the message or you're just um there could be just an opportunity here to make a choice to kind of move away from some familiar territory to some unfamiliar unknown territory but The illumination is here, so it's. I feel like if you do make this move, it's going to show you exactly what you need to see. Um, and I do do feel like with the assumptions and the grasp over here, the reason why you might be hanging on to this other decision, like the decision not to make this move or not to move forward, is because maybe you're assuming the worst. Um, this could be, like I said, you could be assuming the worst of a situation, a a move, a project, a job, a, just an endeavor. But um, I do feel strongly it's asking you to let go of the familiar here and um, that there's been a lot of changes with you, um, whoever this is resonating with, and now it's time to integrate, which means blending that in, bringing that to your outer world. And it might require, um, or maybe not require, but it's just happening where this integration is going to happen through some movement or taking some action towards um, a, like a project, an endeavor, maybe a relationship, um, or maybe studying or something or learning something new here. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting there. Let's see what you can release right now. Wow. Now we're just kind of surrender to inner peace just fell out and surrender to effortlessness. <clears throat> there is, there is this two of air which is like the two of swords you guys and it is about um staying balanced between you know 
the decision in the in the decision making process to go within and be still and just know that whatever's happening right now is I believe bringing you closer to a new um, kind of version of yourself that's been 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 developing over time that's what this transformation is about and now it's an integration process which it's always hard to bring like our new attitudes our new perceptions our new insights to the world outside of us we, we we understand them but we don't know if everybody else is going to understand what we're saying or what we're trying to express or what we're trying to um, accomplish um, we know but then we always question like are they gonna know are they gonna accept this are the am i gonna be you know how it and that's really just like the ego getting in the way and holding on to like i'm assuming like nobody gets me nobody understands me nobody's gonna understand why i'm doing this or moving this way or studying this or whatever it is um create cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily and i'm not feeling any like bad energy or it just feels like like i said a little scary like stepping into some unknown could be going back to something or something maybe you stepped out of for a while and you're going back to something and it just may feel different and you may still be even trying to hang on to like the familiarity but something's changed here something's transformed so if this is the same kind of thing and you've already like done this or visited this or been there and it, it's going to it's something's going to feel different this time something's going to be um there's something there that you can't see and you shouldn't assume or something that's the message i'm getting um surrender to effortlessness stop pushing so hard the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river so if you are really like overthinking i was getting that that energy of like overthinking um maybe over forcing like yourself to like pull back from something that is pulling you forward or is trying to pull you forward um it's saying not to resist so much i am getting that with that 22 there all right aquarius so that is your reading i hope it helps somebody and as always i appreciate you guys and i hope you have a good day and i'll talk to you later